Hello and welcome back to Quantum Suicide. On the last episode we lost, basically, and I'm assuming we're supposed to because we were given the choice of what to do with the pocket watch. And uh, basically, do we give it to the captain or do we give it to Katashi? The thing is, we know that the captain eventually knows how to operate the, 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 the watch. So, this question prompts me to ask, does Katashi ever time travel? Because if ta Katashi time travels, or, well, not even time travels, but jumps universes, will it? Will he show up at some point? Because he hasn't shown up so far. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to test out that theory. Uh, here to Katashi, I handed the watch over to Katashi. Maybe once it's working, it can help ensure that you don't overcook your roasts. It's actually smirk playfully. My amazing cooking and I will miss your jokes, Snoopy. Thank you. Alright, let's get on with this. Time's ticking by. I got places to be, people to kill. Really? Are they important people? The airlock door opened there with a hiss. And I uh, took a step towards it. Then I turned around. I felt uh, it felt right, right somehow. Ah. After what she'd said about me, I saluted this with the captain. Officer, you have served the Everett well, and we thank you for your service. Salute. Okay. Uh. As I stepped backwards into the airlock, I could see the rest of the crew standing, uh, still with a, in a salute. Peter was standing, crying, while her brother stood stoic uh, next to her, holding her. That made me feel worse somehow, like it was my fault. I'm sorry I failed everyone. This wasn't real. It wasn't happening, but it was. From all the speakers, I heard the over uh, overhead system count. Airlock secured. Uh, external door opening in three, two, one. A door opening, and I've died. Your timeline, where was this? Switch to girl. Uh, don't jump. Chapter three, is this, is this where I am at? Jump, don't jump. Yahoo! So, okay. Which one was it? Um, cool. No, I get it. Oh, uh, was it this one? Yeah, it was. Deactivation code. I knew that was most cool. Um... Fine, fine sounds amazing. I'm pretty sick and tired of getting annoyed here. I'm sorry for that. But I would also be grateful for your company. Uh, no. So what time is this evening picnic? No. Unfortunate. It's only... I glance at the time. Oh, 9pm. <laughs> yes. No one has seen you all day. Not even to eat. Unfortunate. Guess I'm well overdue for, well overdue for a meal then. I suppose you are. I turned to the precious uh, watch to its usual place in my pocket and followed the captain out. Cool. Do I, I can skip from these. Uh, it's on the menu Did today. <laughs> Leave it to later. What do I... Nope. No. Which one is it? There are which two... Which one is it? Admit it. Why not? Uh, yeah, you caught me. I slept here last night. Give me a big thumbs up. Well done. Well done for what? Betting the captain, of course. Unfortunate. Right. Uh, Dyer cackled silently in the combination of outrage and embarrassment on my face. Okay. Uh, yeah. What? Don't be so upset. I'm congratulating you. You've been where few dare to venture. With good reason, considering how she's reacted to se in several timelines. What are you implying? You aimed high, despite the obvious risk to your physical health. I respect that. Uh, I was thinking, I was going to question why physical, but then it's because obviously murder. But then I was going to question why not mental. But then I realized, because we'll be dead. Dad, can you just tell me what you want? I'm here to tell you your- Cool. Oh. Right. Cool. Now we don't jump. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm just going to- It's not even- 
I'm just gonna go to be, be, uh, bidding wars and have someone else lose. Um, hold on, hold on. He's pretty sure I've been here before, right? No, nope, probably not. Is yeah, let's go with this. And then there's one. What is it? So I need to lose. So I need to lose this one. Nope. There we go. Well, I gotta tell you, this is very disappointing. I expected great things out of you. How unfortunate for you. <sighs> but rules are rules, and you've been chosen. Oh, am I the one who's dead? The fates have conspired. If that's the case, I'm saving here. Uh, this one. Yeah, pick this one, right? There we go. I'll oh, give it to the captain. Here you go. Uh, I will uh cool. So that was the wrong one. That's the one where I just been. There we go, 18. Well, I gotta tell- <sighs> But, the fates have- Luck, the odds were not in your favor. The fates have- Luck, is not the odd- My dead- Ah, so I died in both of them. Has been- Okay, then. Yeah, well, the- But, Team A. So I just make- I need to make sure I don't have the lowest. Uh, four? Five? Well- Lost. If you would be- We're doing well, team. I am- So I need to lose the first one. And the- Thank you. <laughs> You're five minutes. I- I have one. Is everyone in a- Yes. Yep. Let's do this. Team B is leading the charge. Cool. You're five minutes. We have- Here are my- Ah, see, I've now got more choices. Um... Keep me with the strongest. Really? Ty. Ty. <laughs> Team. Three. Nope. Twenty-nine. Our option. There we go. Congratulations, Team B. Hooray. After three rounds, you have come out victorious, and that means Team A. Team A. Hooray. Congratulations, Yoshiki. Oh no. Now, how to kill you? That's unfortunate. Can I get some suggestions from the audience? Um, quickly and peacefully. None of us suggested anything. In my case, it was total shock. No. What about you, ma'am? The lady with the scowl. The uh, captain. This isn't funny, Doug. Congratulations, Yoshiki. You have won electrocution. Fitting for an engineer. Well, I guess it's a fitting way for me to die. Uh, Yoshiki and I on the way the same mindset. I think we've had this before, that's why. How so? Yoshiki's father accidentally electrocuted himself to death. You could say it's something of a family specialty. That's a pretty strange family specialty. Yoshiki laughed half heartedly at my poor attempt to, give in, uh, to lighten the mood. <laughs> yeah. My family is pretty strange. All right, I've surveyed the ship, and the best place to get electrocuted is the engineering bay. No surprise there. Ooh, no surprises. You all know the drill. Let's move it. Uh, we start making our way towards the engineering bay. Yoshiki walks between me and the captain, chatting along the way, uh, as if there were another way. Another Kimmy, day. do you think there's an afterlife? What do you think, Yoshiki? I think there might be. I don't think there is. I just think there's an alternative universe where you survive. Therefore, we just have to get you there. Or at least get me there to help you survive. I'm sure there is. And I'm sure your parents are waiting for you. You really think so? Of course I do. I'm just jealous they'll get to have you all to themselves. I... It's the captain. I can't... I can't get by the captain. Um... Captain's eyes starting uh, to well up in tears, uh, but she fought them back. Well, don't worry, Kimmy. At this rate, I might see you next week. <laughs> Yoshiki grinned playfully at the captain. I'll be sure to clean up before you arrive. I can't have you scolding me in the afterlife, too. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, well. At this point, we arrived in the engineering bay where Dai found 
Tai was found standing in front of the fuse box, looking quite pleased with herself. All right, Yoshiki, if you would step this way, open this box, and, you know, grab onto some of the live wires, that would be awesome. This isn't my first electrocution, Dai. I know how to kill myself. I mean, a lot of people know how. Hey, I designed the game to be challenging. Okay. Sure, sure. Well, this appears to be my stop. Uh, sorry, BFF. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, too. Could you do me a favor while I'm gone? If you say take care of the captain, it's an automatic no. Name it. Would you check in on no. Kimi? You got it, Yoshiki. She especially likes it if you're late all the time. I'll try my best. Yoshiki said his goodbyes uh, to everyone before hugging the captain. We began to cry again despite her best efforts. Kimmy, sis, I love you. And I always will. I love you too, Yoshiki. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry. What did I say about crying? Uh, the, right, the captain sniffled and pulled, uh, pulling away from the hug to salute Yoshiki. Officer Sasaki, thank you for your contributions to the Everett. You have been relieved of your duties. The crew all saluted Yoshiki, who seemed embarrassed by all the intention. Dai cleared her throat and made a, a, a wrap it up gesture with her hands. Yeah, yeah, Our I'm hand. coming. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a present for you on my bed. Is it the... I slash die doll? What? If she smiled and grabbed, his, uh, on, uh, grabbed onto the exposed wires of the fuse box. How mysterious. Um, his body jolted violently as a thousand volts ran through his body. His head, the hair on his head uh, uh, tinged at the elec uh, electricity filled the air. A cacophonous cackle permeated the room, harsh to the ears. That's a good sentence. I held on to the captain who looked as if she was a moment away from reaching out and grabbing Yoshiki's twisted form. The last thing we needed right now was uh, more unnecessary deaths. After a few moments, Dai cut the power of the fuse box and Yoshiki's burnt and lifeless body slumped to the ground. Job well done, Dai. He's definitely dead. Referring to yourself now, Dai gave herself a small pat on the back. As soon as the electricity stopped, I let go of the cabin, who immediately got on the ground with Yoshiki. Uh, she had propped him up on her, uh, her lap, attempting to give any response. Yoshiki? Yoshiki? Uh, please don't say she's crazy in this timeline, despite not even romancing Yoshiki. Nicholas knelt down and to check Yoshiki's vials. He raised his head and met up the captain's eyes. I'm sorry, Captain. I mean, as if Dai would let him survive that? There's no point in checking, honestly, because like, there's no way... Yoshiki could fake dying. There's no way anyone could fake dying. Because she's just going to check the vitals. The captain broke down in tears, hugging Yoshiki as tightly as, uh, that she cried it was muffled in this lifeless body. Captain, I... Leave her be. Yeah. Nicholas is right. I'm going. I stepped away as the captain... Uh, show, uh, I stepped away from the captain and stood back with the rest of the we crew. We all have places to be. Let's get out of here and allow the captain to grieve in peace. Thank you, Nicholas. Melody nestled into Beatrix, Beatrix's neck uh, as she turned on her heels and followed Nicholas out of the uh, engineering bay. It was not long before the others followed suit. I stood uh, for a moment longer watching as the captain continued to cry into Yoshiki's chest. Unable to bear it any longer, I finally turned and left. Chapter 3. I forgot I need a click on that. Well, not a click, but... I need to manually progress. Anyway, I turned over in my sleep, causing my head to stand uh, up with the static that was uh, drawn across the pillowcase. The sudden sting uh, of, at the discharge tore me, tore me away from my deep sleep. Yoshiki, my eyes darted around the... Uh, so we didn't even check his room. My eyes darted around the, the darkened room as I caught my uh, breath. Yoshiki. As I came to, my head, uh, as my head, as I came to, my head threw up the uh, threw up images of the night before, uh, but it, making my stomach turn. I couldn't believe we'd lost. Uh, I'd failed him. It was, uh, and his blood was on my hands. Yoshiki was dead, and it was my fault. Why couldn't I have lost it instead? 
we've tried that, don't worry. I briefly contemplated facing the, uh, the day to come before collapsing onto my bed, or into my bed. Hours uh, later I woke, feeling a tight weight on my, f on my feet. I tried kicking it off, thinking it was my, my blankets. Did we just kick Melody? Oi! Oh, even worse. It was Yoshiki and Shizuka who both parched uh, at the end of my bed. Okay, surprising, it's the both of you this time. This is a welcome change, because I can at least have Katashi uh, keep control over Shizuka. How the hell did you get in here? Shizuka has many hidden skills. That's, oh, that's terrible news. Katashi, I'm so sorry for you. You hacked my door lock? Not so much hacked as broke. Okay, Ibuki. You broke my door lock? Well, yeah, but, you know, how else would I get in? That's the issue, you're not supposed to. You could knock like a normal person. We did. Multiple times. Apparently you're quite the heavy sleeper. Okay, then you wait. Maybe I just didn't want to be bothered. I sat there with my arms crossed, making my unhappiness very clear. Please don't be upset, newbie. We came to cheer you up. I don't think I'm the one who needs cheering up. Have you not seen the captain? Well, so far you aren't doing too well. Yeah, you broke my stuff. Instead, you've made it worse. I saw Katashi flinch, but he recovered it with a strong smile immediately after. As if, I, uh, as if to challenge my negativity. I have better things to do than deal with Miss Grumpy Bum here. I'm out. Okay, goodbye. Don't break my lock any on the way out. She just gets slid off the bed and left, not looking back for even for a second. <laughs> I'm impressed. What? I knew you would chase Jessica away eventually. She looks for any excuse to avoid work. But within a minute? Well done. That wasn't my intention. Wasn't it? You didn't want us here before she left, and I assume you still don't. Because she was right. I just, uh, I just wanted to continue my solitary pity party. I know you and Yoshiki were close. I mean, who was not close to Yoshiki? And I know for a fact that he wouldn't want you sulking in bed over him. What was his present that's on his bed? Yeah, what exactly do you, su do you suggest? Kata uh, Kakashi... Wasn't it Katashi before? Kikashi smiled and prepared his... Oh, newbie, I thought you'd never ask. Okay. Spelling mistakes. Cool. Well, not, or maybe not even mistakes. I don't know. This game is something else. Uh... Okay, I thought you... Right. Would you like to join me in the kitchen for a bite to eat? I would like to go to uh, Yoshiki's room and get his present. I'm not hungry. Give me the opportunity to help your appetite return, at least. I sat considering his suggestion with her uh, arms still crossed. Um, I'm on the fence. May I persuade you with vivid descriptions of what awaits you? Go on. If you were to accompany me to the kitchen, I can promise you a flavor festival. Nay, a veritable culinary carnival for your taste buds. Man, what a way with words. Um, now I'm intrigued. Imagine fluffy pancakes, plump strawberries, rich chocolate sauce. Melted butter, freshly baked bread, homemade jam. The thing is, I'm a very picky eater, but even hearing this is sounds appetizing. Okay, okay, I get Has it. Has my persuasion been successful? Uh, I laugh at the, the laugh I had been discreetly holding back first out. If you had made a chocolate sauce, you could actually punch the air in triumph. Alrighty then! Up and at it! Let's go get him, soldier! Okay, then. Uh, come at... Uh, yeah, comically grumbling in, uh, fake protest. Uh, I, I, I'm just done the word for moods, uh, besides cacophonous, apparently. Um, I hastened out of my bed and followed Katashi to the kitchen. Is Shizuka gonna be there? Um, when we arrived at the kitchen, I could see that Katashi had been cooking for hours. There was food everywhere. More food than I thought I could eat for a whole lifetime. Wow, we pro uh, you've really gone all over. I knew that I wouldn't disappoint you. Isn't this the reason Dai is putting us in a death game? Katesha, are you killing us? You're killing us by all these parties and stuff. I'm amazed that one person could uh, make so much food and, and, and it still looks delicious. Oh, newbie. You know just how to make me blush. 
Kadashi giggled as he ran uh, up and down the, I- the island, explaining uh, all of his creations. <laughs> <laughs> so everything here is a breakfast food one way or another. But I've divided the room into savory and sweet. Which do you prefer? Uh, pff, I don't know. Um, I guess sweet, but obviously that can too much of that can make you sick, so... A sweet tooth, eh? I can certainly appreciate that. I'm one too, after all. Cool. Really, what's your favorite sweet? Cake. Always cake. There's just something inherently beautiful about a perfectly risen and moist cake. Eh, I don't think I can agree with that personally. Why don't you and Cake get a nice private room? Shall we? So are we? Because as she grinned, I, I couldn't stop the bush. My joke had backfired pretty much uh, spectacularly. I couldn't help but feel embarrassed. It was time for me to swiftly change the subject. Uh, the farm or the kitchen? Why do you ask? Because you're basically the caretaker of both. Um. So I thought perhaps you had a preference. That's like asking me which parent I would save from a burning building. Well, which parent would it be? <clears throat> Allow me to clarify. My dad was a chef. The finest chef on all of Earth. Gordon Ramsay? I wasn't sure if it was true or not, but Katashi seemed very proud. So I didn't want to burst his bubble. I learned all of my kitchen skills from him. And all of my farming skills from my mom. Really? Yeah, my mom was the farmer. She used to hate when dad called her that. She had degrees in agricultural engineering, botany, and even veterinary science. Sounds like a farmer, let's be fair. Well, I can see why farmer would be uh, downplaying her skills. She gave as good as she got, don't worry. She called my dad a cook. Is there a difference? Isn't that the same thing as a chef? According to the countless lectures I received, no! (laughs) Sometimes I would call him a cook just to laugh at him while he flew into a rage over it. Well, uh... I learn something new every day. Hopefully that suffices to answer your initial question. I could never choose one over the other. No, you have to. Uh, imagine I have a gun. It's not an imaginary, it's real. Uh, it must be a nice uh, uh, having parents with such different skills. It only meant I had twice the expectations to live up to. Yeah, but at least you had the option. Both of the player's characters are... Uh, the player character's parents were in quantum physics, so it's kind of no choice for the player character. Never thought of it like that. Either way, I'm grateful to my parents for passing some of their copious talent on to me. I just wish I was half as good as either of them. I mean, can can you, can we really say that you're not? I mean, yes, we don't have a reference for them, but still. Well, there's also, there's also this fact. You're technically an astronaut, right? I'm quite sure you are, and I have no doubts that they're both proud of you. If I were you, I'd save my convictions until after trying all of these dishes. He's actually deftly tossed... Deftly? Just a new word. Uh, tossed a fork to uh, to me, say, signaling for me to begin the feast. In a moment, I had a mouthful of fat pancake. They should show good. I want to try. I want to try. Uh, become human. Well, yeah, become human. Have a soul. Uh, in shock, my pancakes was shut down uh, the wrong way. Bring up a huge coughing fit. Newbie, are you okay? Uh, no. Kadashi rubbed my back while I struggled to regain control of my breathing. My eyes steamed, uh, bulging in, in dread. Kadashi! It isn't even game time! Yet you're trying to kill a crew member! Uh, play it up. You know, earn some brownie points. On second thoughts, I think I'll pass on your food. It's clearly not suitable for human or AI consumption. Uh, regardless of Dai's obvious antagonizing, Kadashi still looks uh, slightly. Kadashi looks still. Uh, still Kadashi still looks slighted at his word. Uh, Dai, what do you want? You are right there. Do you need me to rescue you from this cook? Uh, that would be an interesting twist. Uh, Kadashi uh, stared daggers at Dai. Uh, it's fine. I just need a drink. Kadashi poured me a glass of water, which I guzzled down with relief. Much better, thanks, Kadashi. Least I could do, given that I just about killed you. Uh, Kadashi meant, uh... Kadashi meant his word in jest, but the tinge of guilt crept through. You two finished? No. Uh, we both nodded impatiently, uh, so Dai could... Uh, share the reason she's here. It's that time oh. again! Time for an explanation of the new... All right, message. Fantastic! Nice. Uh, we have child sleep, went back to the room. Are you okay, newbie? I'm so sorry. It was... Gee, it, 
for start, you didn't you didn't do anything. Fine, it was my fault. My uh, ex I, my experiment to see if I can inhale pancakes was uh, a resounding failure. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel better, newbie. We best head to the dining hall before Princess Pain in the ass kills us for being late. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'd better. Having uh, no death wishes today, we both made our way to the, uh, the briskly to the dining hall. Wonderful! Everyone's here. Cool. Uh, the die. The captain turned to die. Her words called. Uh, now legend. that everyone is here, explain the game and then leave. Aw, is someone still sulking over? Then I stopped abruptly, fanning forgetfulness. What was his name again? Yogi? Yobashi? Yo. Some you know his name was Yoshiki. I care not for your antics. Get to the point. Wow, okay. I think I've actually broken the captain. I mean, it doesn't take much, trust me. We've we've witnessed like all the different ways she snaps. I waved her hand in front of the captain, who paid her no attention. I didn't think I would ever say this. Captain, I'm sorry. Don't lie. The captain ignored Dai. She knew she was uh, promptly another... She knew this was probably one of, uh, another one of her traps. I'm serious. Why would you start being serious now? Because, well, as we know, but the, the characters don't, she's programmed to take care of the captain because her mother was... Not very thoughtful, didn't think that far ahead. Beatrix placed herself squarely between Dai and the captain. Thanks, Beatrix. You killed Yoshiki, yet you have the nerve to tell the captain you're sorry? Yes, Beatrix. Go, go on. I'm getting behind you on this. Also, uh, Nicholas, join, join your sibling so that she doesn't get killed for no reason. Tell us about your game and get out. Following uh, Beatrix in this timeline, she's clearly a more suitable leader at this point. I was vis visibly shocked by uh, Beatrix's ag uh, aggression, but with a coy smile quickly took over. <gasps> That's so much better. What? She wants a reaction. That fighting spirit. I knew I could count on you, Trixie. The captain's attitude is boring. Uh, well, before snapping, yes. After snapping, no. Boring is definitely not what I would uh, describe the snapped captain. Uh, the captain wasn't mentally present in this conversation any longer. She was about to respond with anything. But you, you're a breath of fresh air. I mean, considering how often Beatrix dies, I agree. There's still hope for this game yet. <laughs> Allow me to my children. No thanks. One. How? Oh. If nap the but B. I. Any. No thanks. We get it. Excellent. I suddenly stepped out of the room and the broadcast op uh, opened overhead, where we were, uh, where we could all get a cool. We weather. understand. Beatrix. What is it, sailor? Uh, thank you for standing up for the captain. It wasn't her. I was standing up for. I mean, technically, it was everyone, right? Wasn't it? What do you mean? Yoshiki was like a younger brother to the captain. Yeah, so you were emphasizing with the captain, therefore if you'd lost Nicholas. I witnessed Beatrix's uh, eyes filled with unbridled rage. No one touches little brothers. I'm assuming that meant it in a different way. It's just, it's just that writing could be better. Beatrix stormed off in the, uh, down the hallway. Everyone took the rest of the day to let, to let the game and the situation sink in. I knew Beatrix acted bulletproof, but uh, she has a soft heart. She could make up any excuses she liked, but at the end of the day, she was obviously she was protecting the captain. Cool. Again, Yoshiki's present. Yoshiki's present is still left on the bed. We have not even. Okay. Well, Please yeah. wake up. What is it? The captain has requested your presence on the bridge. Why? Why? Precisely. 4 a.m. Uh, could you possibly a uh, one of this hour? She has concerns that require your counsel. Uh, yeah, this Would again. you like me to ask her to post? Yes. Historical data on similar situations would lead me as you would. Cool. I'm just assuming it's the same. Oh, I have some concerns. About the Just buckle. over a week ago, we will be at the cl people are time. Cool. Skipping all this. <laughs> you have done very 
Cool. Before you leave, oh, may I ask okay. a question of you? Why is it? Of course. Do you have a favorite method that helps you concentrate? No. Not really. I I just concentrate when I can. A method? Something you do that helps you to think clearly? No. For example? I find listening to music helps me concentrate. Why are you telling me this? Isn't this the music distracting? No, because then you then you associate the music with the thing that you've learned, assuming it's studying, uh, and then, yeah. If you already have a method to concentrate, why, yeah, why are you asking to help if you already have one? I have not tried all methods. Perhaps there is one that is more effective. Then why don't you concentrate while thinking about it? I guess that makes sense. Even if it, uh, if it works, there's still always more efficient ways that you haven't thought exactly. of. Exactly. So, do you have a method to help you concentrate? No. I wish I had something miraculous, but I don't know if it's such a thing. Perhaps as... you should try listening to music. Perhaps. I'm, I'm, I've said it enough. I think I'll give it a shot right now. I'm pretty much trying... Uh, I'll try anything to help me find a missing piece to the puzzle. That is all I need from you. You are dismissed. Cool, thanks. Uh, with that, we'll call it there. I don't even know if I can ask you if you've enjoyed anymore because like it's just the same thing over and over again. We only had information last time. Though I guess this is the final branch. Well, actually, no, there's still the middle branch, isn't there? The, but so yeah, once we get through this one final branch, that'll branch it off two more times and then we can hopefully get answers. Um, so with that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.